So we're gonna go see Megan and Giselle in Anaheim and we're gonna go have lunch. But when we decided that we we're gonna go, I decided to make her something. Take a look. I made some beautiful Creole breads for her. Cause she loves it. And then I made some buns that are cooking right now because she can take it back to Kathy. And then Jory's over there waiting patiently to go back and see Jelly Bean, right Jory? <laughs> Josh is ready, Joe's. Everybody's ready except for these buns. And I really wanted to leave here like 12.45, but it's 12.45 now, or 12.48, and the buns are not ready. But I think Megan will be understanding of the reason why I'm late. Say hi guys. Hi guys. Hi guys. Joshua, I like that smile. <laughs> I'm smiling, I'm trying to yell at that one. <laughs> so we're going down to see Giselle and Megan, and we're going to Anaheim. Uh, across the street from Disneyland. We're gonna go to lunch. And I'm kind of glad we're gonna get to go. Joe is feeling a lot better because he's on all those dope. <laughs> I'm feeling a lot crummier because my stupid sore throat, has, sore throat hasn't gone away completely. Joshua, do you still have a sore throat? Yeah, I just gonna wake up for a second. I guess because we are like sleeping with our mouths open or something, do is dry. Yeah. Anyways, it's a long drive, but we're leaving a little bit later than I anticipated because I had to make Creole buns and Creole breads for Megan. No, you're going to see. Megan's going to appreciate it. Megan doesn't really care for the buns so much, the sweeter ones, but she cares for the breads. And so she's going to be appreciative. The buns she can take back to Kathy. <laughs> Like, no, I was there. No, 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 you know the going rate for the tooth fairy is like three fifty these days. So <laughs> it's actually being Google it. It's um, what do you call the thing? Um, inflation. <laughs> inflation. I couldn't think of the words. A tooth. Well, the cost like, of living in Utah is cheaper, so. <laughs> I was thinking when we were waiting in line today. I bet that those people that are operating the rides, they probably make more money than I do. Probably. Like, well, are we just snapping pictures? Okay. Oh, look, the snake. What snake? A snake. What snake? Snake with a Oh, God. So there's my family. Jelly's walking with her mom. See right there. Look at that guy with that big snake. Get it out of the Okay. So now Joel is sitting in the visitor's chair and I'm on the table because I'm here for my appointment to discuss my vertigo problem which you know I'm going to complain about my stomach issues. And I caught Joel just like opening all the drawers, being nosy. Oh my goodness, Joel, this place not belong you to see, you. You got to see what is in your sarong. So you got all kind of gloves hmm? to pick from. You got all kind of gloves to pick <laughs> Jada's like... Jada's like, give me a pair of gloves so I can dye my hair. <laughs> Jada's such a crook. And no, they're not allowed to steal the gloves, okay? We buy our own gloves because Joe works with ink all day long, but these people are so bad. <laughs> I feel okay today. My throat doesn't hurt so bad. Just a little tinge right here. My stomach still kind of pinches, but I guess we'll get to the bottom of that. I hope it's intestinal. I hope it's just like indigestion, intestinal. You know, I always hope for the best. <coughs> and we have to go to work. Josh is getting better too. He's getting a cough like Joe though. So, but I love my doctor and she should be in any moment. Okay, so they, they told Joe that he can have that cyst out, but it's going to leave a scar about as big as the cyst. Mm -hmm. And my response was, that is so cool. <laughs> so Joe decided... He's going to make an appointment to get it out because you can never tell when we're going to be without insurance again. And then that has tripled in size. And then now oh, he's walking around with a horn like the devil. <laughs> Does the devil have horns, Joe? 
Is that just a childhood, <coughs> just a childhood depiction of the devil? <laughs> so now I'm waiting for them to get to give me what? What are they gonna give me? Tetanus shot? I know I've had a tetanus shot recently because I remember my arm hurting for a while. But they're like, no, it's not in the system. But you know, I just got back to Kaiser this year, the start of the new year. So I think I had it at the clinic that I used to go to. I'm like, can you guys overdose me on that stuff? Because I hate shots. So, anyways, she thinks I have gallstones, but she wants me to monitor that dull ache in my right side. But the bloating, she thinks might be H. pylori infection, so she's pulling blood work for that. Mm. And then I'll know in five days. And if it is, then they'll give me some antibiotics. You got to go and, to um, hmm? you got to go where? Hello. So even though we got here kind of late today, because we ate lunch at home, and then came straight here and went to work, things have been going pretty great. We're, we're getting a lot of ground covered today. Uh, Joe still feels great. Joshua's doing okay. He still has a little bit of sore throat. Um, the over-the-counter stuff that they told me to take, it's working. I feel a little bit better after I ate. So anyways, um, back to work. I don't want to goof off too much because I want to get a lot done today because we came in so late. By the way, before I get back to packaging these bottles, um, I forgot to tell you guys that I got invited to this birthday party this coming Saturday the 23rd and it's for one of my viewers. She's 15 years old and she's going to be 16. So she's having her sweet 16 and um, her mom, I think the mom's like in her 30s and the daughter was watching the show first and really a great fan of the show and then the mom started watching and I have had contact with them by phone. They live right here in Inglewood and um, which is about an hour, hour and 15 minutes away from where I am and they invited me to come to their party and I was like me you know to a sweet 16 and they're like yeah and then the mom's like they I told them ever since they invited me that I'm coming I already RSVP yes I'm coming and then they sent me the invitation right when mom came back and was going through all this turmoil and I forgot to call the RSVP to tell them that I am coming but I guess they don't know me because when I tell you I'm coming, I'm coming. You don't have to send me the invite. You don't have to remind me. I put it on my calendar and I'm coming. So the mom called last week and she's like, are you coming? I'm like, yeah, with bells on. And she's like, oh my God, this little girl is not going to be able, to, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to be able to contain her. I'm like, why? And then she says, she so wants you to come. She's telling the whole world that you're coming to her party. I'm like, I'm nobody. <laughs> I said, tell that little girl I'm an old lady. <laughs> that just has a little you know cooking show on YouTube I'm nobody and the mom says she doesn't view it that way she just wants you to be there she told a lot of people you're coming and I was like wow that makes me feel so good because I told you guys before in a couple of vlogs that when it comes to family you know they invite you to what they want to invite you to and then they leave you off the invitation list when they feel like it and then pretty much you don't know why you get to go to one thing and not to the other thing why did I get why did I get invited to the wedding when you didn't invite me to the stupid wedding shower or to the christening of the baby when you didn't invite me to the baby shower or whatever so it's like no what if i'm on your list then i need to be on your list for everything because that's the way we have our lists my mom has a list of people who are invited to her parties and every one of them get invited and so one day um she was having a party and i guess my little nephew drew he was five at the time and he didn't know about the party and later when he finally goes are we off the list grandma are we off the list <laughs> <laughs> so um anyways it's nice to you know be able to go where i'm wanted you know how does dr mike say go where you're celebrated rather than where you're tolerated that's one of dr mike's uh, saying dr mike murder go where you're celebrated rather than where you're tolerated and i feel like sometimes with family they just tolerate you to come to their parties where some strangers they want you at their party so i'm really excited to go to this party on saturday morning guys still trying to wake up um, I have to make my bed and then Joe is working on breakfast then we're going to head out to work and do another long day again today but um, those stupid people jabbed me yesterday when I went to the doctor they forced me into getting a tetanus shot and I know I had one before when I used to go to that clinic down the street from the shop I mean I think less than two years ago I remember my stupid arm hurting like this and so I can barely hold the camera <laughs> to do my little vlogging because I hold the camera with my left hand so it's hurting anyways I'm gonna go ahead and make my bed and get this day started all right guys so my bed is made you guys notice the nautical theme in my room I painted this closet door I wanted to wake up to something happy looking every day 
So I made a salad for us, and then I'm taking um, some um, lit noodles with the leftover sauce from the lasagna. Joshua has a piece of lasagna here, and I'm taking some chicken for Joe, and probably for me too, because I'm probably not going to eat that noodles thing. Joshua will probably eat both. So Joe didn't want to do no breakfast today. He usually does the breakfast in the morning, because I usually pack the lunch or cook the lunch. And he's like, I'm tired, and there's nothing in here to eat. Hey, Andy Cap. <laughs> so, I'm going back into the past videos that I've done to see how fast that cyst has been growing on Joe's forehead. Joshua thinks that I should do a video on this cyst thing, and we don't know how they would remove it. I'm imagining that they would just do a localized anesthesia, right, Joe? Mm -hmm. So, you're in a bad location with the backlighting, and then remove it. But they might have to do general. If they do general, you leave it alone, huh? You'll still go under? <laughs> You're not going to go under for it? I don't think you should do it. It's right at the front. I mean, I think I could cut that out. I don't know if I could stitch it back up, but... <laughs> you could cut it out yourself. <laughs> My dad has this belief, right? Don't let anything grow on your skin or on your body. Like if you see a little something growing that's not supposed to be there, dig it out yourself now before it has time to take root. <laughs> so I have a, um, a freckle that's on my lip and I'm not self-conscious about it, but I watch it to see if it's growing bigger and bigger. And my dad's like, dig it out now. Dig it out now before you get, he, he has a saying like this in Creole, kill that thing before you get big. Kill that thing before you get big. <laughs> My goodness got the popo uh oh they got somebody oh and the truck wasn't even doing nothing i don't know what's up with the police today but they're running this avenue see another one see oh they're in the parking lot here but there's a lot of them running up and down on the motorcycle see see it came out of this lot see and they're nabbing everybody up and down the street. So, note to self, don't go on that busy street right now. You need, Joe? You have a need to report up to them. What date is today? The 20th? Yeah, mm. they gotta start the quarter early, huh? Mm mm mm. Don't stop gossiping with people, eh? Your service are over. Do always the gossip about my family members. Gossip about your own family members. Uh, you gossip about my own, too. <laughs> <laughs> your, 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 your service are over, you know, service. <laughs> <laughs> when I say, oh, my daddy said, after service, kiss my mm mm mm. Look at Jelly. <laughs> so, this is what Joe has to do when he makes a new screen. He has to put this tape to tape off the rest of the stuff that doesn't have the, um, the graphics. That's what happened with those bottles that he messed up. Um, he was using some old brittle tape that we bought at the outdoor swap meet. <laughs> and a piece came off and covered that letter T. So see, he has all these things he still has to print at the end of this run. See? See the T right there? I mean, the customer would accept it like that, but if we could fix it, you know? Why not? Right here. Where is it at? See? With his little handmade printer that he did his show on. He has a show that he has to do for his channel where he's going to make me a windscreen for my mic that I do my voiceover with, but I can't he's too it. sick. I can't make it because I got to, when I make the windscreen, I got to test it out. I got to sing my song. Oh, Lord, have mercy. <laughs> well, you know, Helen is going to love that. I'm going to sing my song. So let me tell you guys what happened yesterday. I was vlogging with the phone and then they called me in to do my vitals. By the way, my blood pressure was 105 over like 62. I had to ask the guy if I was alive. <laughs> the guy was like, that's normal for me. My blood pressure always runs a little bit lower. <clears throat> Anyways, I don't know what Joe did with my phone. He was trying to get it off of the camera mode to like just like click that little button and make it go to sleep. But I don't know what he did, but he kept calling mom, Leah's mom. And so she panicked because she, she was there alone. Colin was at work and Leah and Kevin are away. So we, we check up on mom when it's those type of situations. So she thought we were checking up on her at first. And then the phone kept calling her. <laughs> I can't even say it was butt dialing because it was in my purse because Joe held my purse I when I went to go do the vitals. 
So mom calls me back when I went to go do the lab work and she goes, what's going on? And I'm like, nothing. And then she says, well, your phone keeps calling me. And I'm like, it's that Joe. You know, he's the one that doesn't know how to operate my phone. And so mom says, I think he just misses me. You know, that's my baby. <laughs> mom just loves her some Joe. So I have to check this constantly. I have to make sure that um, when I measure 30 milliliters in the little measuring cup that it comes right to the line in the bottle with 30 milliliters or else these bottles are no good. So I've done my testing for the morning and I test this throughout the day. So Joe's feeding bottles onto the machine until I can get to my post, but I'm actually not goofing off even though I'm running the camera. So now it's time for me to start feeding bottles onto the machine. And I work like this till about 10 when Joshua comes in and then he goes from 10 to 5 while I pack inside the office and Joe packs too because it's a one color job. Hey guys, it's Wednesday and I'm very excited because I finally got through editing that video with the croissants. It was such a hard video to edit because it started off with so much footage. I mean, I had like 30 minutes worth of stuff that I recorded to show you guys uh, how to make the croissants. And it's because I did the croissants twice on camera. The first time around, I think my butter was a little bit too soft. And the next time around, my butter was a little bit too hard. So it's kind of like Goldilocks of croissants. But you know what? Both times they came out good. So I wanted to show you guys all of that. I try to show my mistakes if I make mistakes because I can't stand looking at other people's uh, cooking videos. And then you know, you know when they tell you to put that one drop of water you know that that water is not going to be enough and th there's some kind of lie in there somewhere so I had to show step by step how to make the dough and you know how to make the slab of butter and everything else but it came out pretty good so I'm really glad that's over with and that's for Monday's show and so now I can finally edit this vlog and upload it for you guys I'm not sure if we're going to go to Bible study this evening at church I've been trying to go for the whole month of May because they were teaching on a topic that I wanted to know more about but we couldn't go because Joe's been so sick and besides him not feeling well I didn't want him to like cough in the middle and interrupt the whole service so I'm still not sure if we're gonna go but I want to go um, mom has her CAT scans uh, scheduled for Thursday she's really nervous but I think she's nervous because she doesn't want them to find tumors or masses or stuff like that but I'm just gonna keep on being optimistic that um, none of those exist she wants me to come down next week Thursday to go with her to that appointment to hear the news and I want to be there but we're printing these bottles right now and I'm not sure how the schedule is going to work out so I'm just really really worried about that um, the test results for the H. pylori that they think I have that infection in the stomach that came back but I don't know how to read it I thought it was going to be negative or positive because she says we're going to see if you're positive for it whatever but they had take a look at it I'm going to show you guys the graph right now See, it says less than less or equal to less than 20, and then my values are 9.3. So it makes me feel like I don't have it, that I'm negative for it. But when I checked on Google, it says anything above 8.95 for an H. pylori blood test means you're positive for H. pylori. So if I'm going to go by Google, I may have it, but I put an email into my doctor because she would be the better judge for that. And when I hear back from her, then I'll know if I have to go pick up some meds or if I just have to continue monitoring what's going on. I'm eating some yogurt. I bought Greek um, yogurt yesterday at Costco, so I'm doing that for breakfast. I'm still taking the probiotics. Yesterday was the best I felt after lunch and dinner, and of course the meals were very small, but at least I didn't feel that overly bloated way. So uh, I'm seeing some daylight at the end of the tunnel, and it's not a freight train coming through <laughs> from the next end, you know? Anyways, Joshua just got to work, so it's time for me to go and start packing, and I'll catch you guys in a little bit. Thank you for liking and subscribing and please check out my other two channels, the Product Review channel, Bear Pantry Talk, and the cooking show, The Bear Pantry Show, where you will find over a hundred Belizean recipes.